So he's really gonna do it? Pop the big question. That's what he told me. They'll make a wonderful couple. Yeah, I guess. Reg, they're perfect together. There's nothing perfect in this life, Doc. Ooh, are we becoming jaded? Well, I know something that's pretty close to perfect. At least the way we used to do it. Oh. I'm sorry. Grant been giving you a hard time? The worst? Look, I know James and Maggie will be very happy together if he gets rid of a certain patient. Sheila? He already has. Oh. There you go, then. Yeah, he told me that he's already given her a whole other list of doctors. Yeah, I sure wouldn't want to be on that list. Doc? Doc, please don't tell me he gave her your name. Top of the list. James? James is with Maggie, of course. It wouldn't be James. Mike, what are you still doing here? I couldn't leave you. Not like this. Yeah, but if the cops find you, you... They won't. Don't worry. Nobody followed me either. Are you feeling any better? No. Why, why would I be feeling any better? Well, maybe we were wrong about Warwick. Come on, it's hopeless. James made it very clear that we were finished. But still... Maggie gave him an ultimatum. Her or me, and he made his choice. He and, and Maggie, they're, they're probably making their wedding plans right now. All I have to do is figure out what I'm going to do about that. Would you be my wife? Would you marry me, Maggie Forrest? Don't you want to marry me? Oh, James, yes. Yes, I want to marry you. But what about Sheila? Sheila? James, she'll never accept this. Oh, Maggie, we're not going to base the rest of our lives on what Sheila can and cannot accept. I know that. But, but I... if this is a question of your feelings for me, then that is one thing. But if we are holding back because of Sheila, then let's not do that, please. Oh, Maggie, please say that you'll marry me. I brought some groceries and I'll be back in a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Where are you going now? I have to go back to work. I have to finish it down. A sweatshop, isn't it? No, Lucien, it is not a sweatshop. These are good people. If they're so good, why are they working you like this? You've been there all day. Now you have to go back? No, I don't have to go back. They're not forcing me, but there are deadlines. Look, I am not going to argue with you right now. We need the money, and I'm lucky to have this job. Mama, we should be down on our knees thanking God for the foresters, especially Thorn. Is this Thorn Forester touched you yet, Claudia? You've got the smarts not to get involved in that. I didn't make him any promises. Good. 
but I'm not making you any either. Taylor. Rich, look, I can't ignore this. Sheila happens to be a human being who needs help. I don't want to hear this. <sighs> no one knows when that lady is just going to lose it altogether. I promise you I, I will keep a strict professional distance. That doesn't mean that she will, though. Oh, Rich, you're just frustrated. You've got all this craziness going on. Maybe you're the one who needs a psychiatrist. I'm already seeing one, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is she helping? Actually, she's driving me nuts. You better do something about that. Any suggestions? You might want to schedule yourself some night sessions. You know, it's been a long time since I pulled an all-nighter with my favorite shrink. Mm -hmm. I think you and she are scheduled for some marathon sessions very soon. Ooh. Right after your wedding. I'm going to need them by then. It's not that far away. You sure? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels to me like one of those dreams where you just can't get where you're going. We'll get there, Rich. Yeah, we sure will. No, Lucien, Thorn Forrester has not touched me. He is not like that. I'm just trying to protect you, Claudia. But you don't need to protect me. Not from the Foresters. They are fair and just people. There are others that we thought were just and fair. And look where it got us. We are very vulnerable here in America, Claudia. And if you get caught working without a green card, you know what will happen to you. I know. I'll be sent back home. We must never allow that. There's nothing back there for us anymore. Nothing but death. I want to go back. We have to find Baba. Claudia. Forget about Papa. He is not alive. You don't know that. Claudia, if he were alive, he would be here. He was captured in the cold. That doesn't mean he's dead. If they have him in their custody, he would be worse than if he was dead. If that filthy family even Children, touches him. Children, please. No more. Sorry, Mama. So am I. But you're right. If Hector Alvarez has him, he is being tortured. And he will pray for death. I will never look at it that way. But you must, Claudia. You must always remember the same fate that awaits you. You are sent back. I'm just asking you to be careful, hermana. Yes, we need money, but not for the price of your life. You must never get caught by the American immigration. Sweetheart, the way you're talking. I'd like I'm a desperate woman. Well, you know what they say about desperate people. You afraid I might do something, Michael? Well, no, I wouldn't ex exactly say that I'm afraid, but is that what's going on here, Sheila? As I stand here right now, James and Maggie are making their wedding plans, and I have never felt so alienated or detached. I'm, I'm not even his, his patient anymore. Yeah, well, you can thank the farm girl for that. Oh, Maggie betrayed me. We should have iced her when we had the chance. I had it all worked out. Yeah, but I didn't because I'm trying to change, Michael. I'm going to be rewarded for this. Oh, yeah, maybe they'll invite you to the wedding. Babe, in this world, you reward yourself. You wait for somebody else to do it, you end up sucking wind. Oh, I have such a horrible feeling. Why is that? Oh, was I kidding myself? Thinking that I could change? Was it, was it just a lie? Sweetheart, you messed up. You need somebody to take care of you, to, to guide you down the path. That's me. It's always been me. Now go get your stuff. We're going to take off together. 
Go on now. Sheila's not going to stop us. Yes, she will, James. If we give her half a chance, well, she we will. won't give her half a chance. We won't even give her any chance at all. Maggie, I think I've probably been very presumptuous. I've already arranged the chat. You have? Yeah, but I could cancel it. But I don't think there's any better time than now, at least not for me. Maggie, I just want to begin. I think we've waited long enough, and, and if we wait any longer, then I think we're going to miss the chance. There will always be reasons to wait, but there is only one reason not to. And that reason is love. And I love you very, very, very much. Now, if you love me too, and that's enough for you, if that's reason enough, then please let's not wait, not for one moment longer. James, that is reason enough. I love you too so much. I will marry you. I will be your wife. What are you doing in here? I am so sorry. Who are you? Claud Claudia Cortez. I work in the sewing room. You're new? Yes, your brother hired me. This your work? Yes. This isn't Belgian lace. You put this on here? Yes. Where did you get this lace? Give me five minutes to slip out the back. You'll hear from me, babe. Taylor. Hi, Sheila. Uh, may I come in? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. How are you? I'm fine. James sent you, didn't he? But is he worried that I might go off the deep end? I would be if I were him. So James should be worried about you, that's what you're saying? He walked out on me in the middle of therapy. There was a conflict, Sheila. You were becoming romantically involved. Oh, and Maggie couldn't stand for that, could she? <sighs> Can you blame her? I wasn't a threat to her. Anyway, James did ask me to look in on you. I don't need a babysitter. No, but you do need a therapist. What, are you soliciting? Sheila, James and I are very close friends. And you and I have worked together before. I'm just letting you know that I'm available. This is my card, and it has my pager number on it. You can call me anytime. Thanks, Taylor, but I, I really think I'm going to be fine. I just need to get used to the idea that I can't lean on James anymore. Actually, I, I think it's probably going to be for the best. Thanks for coming by, though. Anyway, um, you take care. You too, Sheila.
Where did this lace come from? We ran out of Belgian lace, and Henry says that it won't be in until next week. So what's this? I... I tatted it myself. You made this lace? By hand? I've never seen anything like this before. My grandmother taught me. Your grandmother taught you well. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Did she teach you your work ethic, too? I know the kind of work that went into this. Yes, well, you should see our town fiesta. The hours we spent on preparing for one meal. <laughs> <laughs> you miss your hometown? We're very fortunate to have you, Claudia, because your kind of talent is extremely rare. Is the charm learned or genetic? I notice all the forester men seem to have it. You're very well educated too, aren't you? I have a college degree, and I grew up speaking English with my mother. What country are you from? Excuse me. Yeah, Trish. Yeah, put him through. Hey, Peter, how's it going? Really? No, immigration hasn't been around here in almost a year. Is that so? Oh, I'll keep an eye out for him. No, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Sorry. Oh, no, um, excuse me, but I couldn't help overhearing. Oh, it's just a friend from Pacific Studios. Apparently, INS is working in the area. It's never been a problem for us. We don't hire illegals anyway. Well, I imagine you've had a long day, huh? I'm sure you want to get home. Yes, my mother and brother are waiting. Thank you, Mr. Forrester. Claudia, this work is exquisite. My father is Mr. Forrester. Please call me Rich. Good night, Rich. But lived up to my expectations. You and your handsome Scottish kilt. <laughs> the music, the proposal. What more could I expect? Perhaps just one more thing. Shall we make it official? Oh my gosh, James. I have never, never seen anything so beautiful. Neither have I. When did you book the church? Two days from now. <laughs> it wasn't available tomorrow. Ah, I'm marrying an old-fashioned girl. You want a long engagement. Oh, just think in two days. In just two days, I'll be Mrs. James Warwick. <gasps> please tell me that nothing will stand in our way, please. Nothing and no one will stand in our way. go. I could try, but it would never work. I need you. I, I need you so much more than Maggie does, and I am so certain of that. She can't have you. You're mine. You're gonna be mine. 